let's grade Brock Purdy. You'd want to give him like a C minus or like lower for most of his performance. But the most important job of the, of the quarterback is to prevent, protect the football. He protected the football. And everyone has been questioning. Do you see why I don't want this like right in front of my face? You can't see how beautiful I am. I'm just kidding about that. But, you know, um, <laughs> you want Brock Purdy. I, I I think I would give Brock Purdy. Do you give him like a is is a B minus? good is that too too critical too high I know that he didn't do he didn't know anything spectacular but if you're comparing him to Jordan Love and Jordan Love in my opinion looked better and made more impressive throws but protecting the football is the most important now did he protect the football or did the Packers not pick off the football when they had the opportunities because I felt like Brock Purdy threw it to them twice and they didn't catch it so is he fair he he Really struggled in the rain. They were not in any sort of offensive rhythm. He threw multiple balls. I mean, that ball that was like 10 feet over George Kittle's head when he threw the, the errant ball to, um, I think it was Juice Check. If you look, if you, my dad uh, records the games and he called me right before I did, did my stream. Hi, dad. Love you. Love you, daddy. I miss him. I usually watch the game with him, but I'm in New York. Um, Anyways, I think he's in the comments, but uh, my dad records the game. So he like went back and like rewound it. And George Kittle is in the end zone with his hand up like, I'm here, I'm free. And Brock Purdy misses him. Um, accuracy was off, which is ironic because we were just, Marco and I were just talking about accuracy earlier, which I, I think that you can improve on your accuracy. Marco's take was that you can't. But um, Brock Purdy is usually a very accurate quarterback. I, w- I want to say... I'm like more of a, I feel like I tend to lean positive. So I'm going to say C for Brock Purdy, for quarterbacks, Brock Purdy, coach Shanahan. Can I do like D? Why did you not run the ball? Why, why did you run out the clock at the end of the first half? Why did you decide that a playoff game, we didn't go home or lose and go home. Goodbye forever. Season over was a good time to test out Jawan Jennings, the running back. I don't care if Debo went out. A lot of people, they're like, oh, like Debo. I loved, by the way, loved seeing Debo in the backfield. I thought that that was, even though he, he I think he only got to the 20-yard 20, 20 line. Um, I think that, that they should carry that on if Debo's healthy in in the, the playoffs. I think it just sets the tone to have a playmaker back there. Um, I like how they were like, no more Ronnie Bell in the playoffs. Not happening. Uh, Chris Conley? He was in the game and Ronnie Bell wasn't. He made an excellent catch on like a third down. But um, I was going to say, I don't think that Debo being out gives Kyle Shanahan ex- an excuse for anything that happened because there's so many stars. There's no reason that George Kittle didn't get even more targets than, than he was got. That Brandon Ayuk didn't get more targets. Like there was no reason for there to be a spur of the moment. We're going to run the ball with Jawan Jennings when you have a record breaking like gonna be probably in the hall of fame, Chris McCaffrey on your team right now. And then even Chris McCaffrey, let's say his knee was freaking swollen and he couldn't run, which wasn't the entire game. He was like amped and totally ready to play. But let's say for some reason, Kyle Shanahan, who by the way, ran Chris McCaffrey like 40 times in September in September, he was like, let's run Chris McCaffrey every second of the day. Everyone and their mother was like, Kyle Shanahan, if you get Chris McCaffrey injured before the playoffs, we're going to riot because obviously in the playoffs, you're going to need him. And then Kyle Shannon was like, I'm going to give him 11 touches in the freaking first half. He got 11. So frustrating. So frustrating. Give Christian McCaffrey the ball. And if you don't want to give him the ball, give it to Elijah Mitchell or Jordan Mason, who I know is going to be shunned. And like, we're probably not going to see until next freaking 2024 season. But, um, both of those running backs are also averaging, I think Elijah Mitchell's averaging six and Jordan Mitchell's averaging seven yards per carry. Get them the ball before you decide to give the slowest wide receiver on the team. And John Jennings is great, but I don't think it's a dis. I think he would admit that putting him at freaking running back was Kyle Shannon tries to get cute. Don't get cute in a freaking playoff game, dude. Do that in preseason. Oh, I want to, I want to see which one of my wide receivers do that in training camp. When all the fans are there and they can cheer for your funny little things, that's when you do that. Um, so we're going position groups. We did C for for Brock Purdy, which I think is fair. I should check the comments. We give tell tell me if I'm like kind of on point 
you guys, um, or if, or if I'm being way too critical or way too kind, I think C for Brock Purdy, um, D for Kyle Shanahan. I, the only reason it's an F is they won the game and he came back in the fourth quarter after, you know, so now he's, he's, uh, broken that record of his, which is if you're like down by a certain amount of points, I think it's by eight points, he's 37 and, or he's like all time has zero and in the fourth quarter is in it 37 and one. And that one game was also against the Packers. And now he's two both times against the Packers. That sucks for them. Would hate to be them. So Bro- I'm doing Brock C coaches and I, I, we'll do Steve Wilkes too. I, I didn't like, I felt like Steve Wilkes game plan was vanilla. It was predictable. The Packers knew what was happening. So we're going to go C for quarterbacks, D for coaches, and this is, they can all get better. Like, I, I love the 49ers. I, I'm just being critical because it's a playoff game. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy that they won. So now let's do wide receivers. Debo got hurt. Brandon Ayuk did really good, but he also dropped the ball. I said Chris Conley made an excellent catch. Way to go him for being in a playoff game and living up to the moment. Uh, Juwan Jennings did really good. Should we give them... An A minus, they had two drops that I can remember that were bad. And it was pouring rain. So I think that's good. I think A minus wide receivers, is that way too high? Am I missing something? Oh, wideouts, B minus. Maybe I'm dumb. What am I missing? What did they do wrong? B minus. Everyone, okay. I'm way, I'm way too generous. Well, I'll, I'll settle on a B, okay? You guys are saying B minus. I was saying A minus. We'll, we'll do B because they did, they did, oh, wasn't much separation. True, true. It was a rain game. I felt like just staying on your feet was good. Um, there was some, but there was, there was, I, I'd love to know they're, they're never going to tell us, but that miscommunication where Brock, it was like the one pretty throw he had in the first half. He was making like terrible, um, passes for the, for the first half or not even the first half, but I'm talking the first quarter. And then he makes like a beautiful deep ball. And at first the camera's only showing the ball and you're like, Oh wow. That like came out of his hand. Nice. It was, it was just right after he like had dropped a ball, like it slipped out of his hand. So you're like, okay, it's getting good. And then I, I think you're right. People are saying it was too. I, um, but I, stopped on his route, like way back here and Brock Purdy was throwing a deep ball. And so he just threw it to no one. Um, we're never going to know. Was that, did Brock Purdy throw the ball wrong or did Ayuk run, run the wrong way? People are saying run the wrong way. Um, okay. If you want to include, we're going to, we're not going to include George Kittle. We'll do, we'll do, or maybe we should cause tight ends is just going to be George Kittle. So you guys all convinced me. I'm a very, I'm a very easily convinced person. Now I'm, now I'm saying B. QBs and receivers seem to be off. Now I kind of want to go B minus. Look at how I, I was like A minus. And then I was like, okay, we're going to end on a B. And now I'm like, now I get, uh, after talking about all the negative stuff, creating incomplete. Okay. I'm going to be, I, w- I was really hard on the quarterback and the coach and the quarterbacks and the coach, but I thought Jennings did so good. Like if you were just grading Jennings, you'd be like, A. I think B we'll settle on B for wide receivers. I'm also taking so long doing this. Sorry. Um, credit to anyone who gives, gives reports in a, Maybe should have thought thought this out so I could have bounced it out for you guys easier. But okay, so we have just to, to recap, Purdy has a C. Um, and it's he would have had lower, but he won the game at the very end, which was crushing some narratives for him. Coaches get a D, could have gotten an F, but once again, they won the game at the very end, and Kyle Shanahan kind of pulled his head of it out of his ass and started giving the ball to Christian McCaffrey, which shocker worked. Um, Joanna Jennings is the only wide receiver that gets an A. Joanna Jennings was MVP. This is ironic because like three games ago, I tweeted out during a game, what does Joanna Jennings do here? Because he like dropped a ball or something. And now ever, ever since that tweet, he's done impeccable. He's done incredible. To be fair, maybe I should always tweet negative things because I definitely tweeted out something like I was like, holy shit, the 49ers might lose this game or something. And then they won. So maybe I just need to, I'm like, the reverse jinxing them is what I'm doing. And and when I tweeted positive in the first half, when I was like, I'm still not worried. The Packers only have three friggin'. Then they were like losing the game. I should always just be negative when I'm negative. They do better. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, tight ends, just George Kittle, basically, uh, George Kittle. We want to give him a B minus. I thought he did really good, but then he dropped a pass. So you can't give him too high, too high of a grade. Um, all negative. Um, so we'll, we'll do B minus for tight ends. Um, then let's go defensive line. 
Am I missing anything on the offense? I don't think. Oh, running backs. Duh. Don't worry. Football. Running backs get a freaking A. Give them the ball more. They're the only part of the freaking offense that got an A and they didn't get their opportunities. Chris McCaffrey, incredible. Only got a scored touchdowns for the 49ers. Ran so crazy. There were so many times where he was stopped. What was that one? Like one of our, um, I think it was Aaron Banks was getting pushed back like into Chris McCaffrey. And you saw him like hit Aaron Banks. And then like he finally stopped and kind of turned, and, like went around him. It was, that was kind of funny. Um, and he ended up, and then when he got around him, he didn't like immediately got hit. He like juke some people out um so what uh running backs get an a then let's go over to the defensive side um d line dude what the heck you're in a playoff game making the most money out of any group on the team that defensive line is the the supposed to be the star of the 49ers in the kyle shanham scheme it's always been about his defensive line i i know that um once again, I get, I get nervous that maybe I don't see everything correctly because Rohan seemed to not be too um, concerned, but their pass rush was not very good. I mean, I guess they kind of contained can they they contained Jordan Love well. Can you say that? Is that fair? I, they kept him from scrambling, but he's not a huge scrambler, and they did let him kind of run to the side and make plays down the field. Um, I do think Nick Bosa got some pressure, which – caused some of those interceptions that Aaron Banks ended or not Aaron Banks on my mind that Dre Greenlaw ended up ended up um see people are saying D line D plus I'm gonna go D D D plus is fine because without without the pressure that they caused even though they didn't get a sack without the pressure they caused the interceptions wouldn't have happened so even though they didn't get home you have to do that we expect better with our first three rounders being on the defensive line. That's kind of what I mean. Like I like, it's just the fact that they get, so we'll do, we'll do deep. We'll do D plus for them. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm being nicer. I was so critical on the offensive side, um, but we'll do D D plus for the uh, D line. Let's do linebackers. Linebackers getting, do they get an A? Is that too much? Without Dre Greenlaw, they don't win the game. The, the turnovers ended up being, being, you know, if the Packers catch for the, Brock Purdy's interceptable passes, they won the game, but they didn't catch them. Our team caught them. I thought Fred Warner also played really good. I didn't see too many, I didn't see any missed tackles on his part. And then Dre Greenlaw showed up. I mean, I think he even, I think not only just with the interceptions, but the way he was hitting and going after, I think, yeah, red, red, Dre, uh, blah, blah, words. Sorry. I'm literally speaking for on a podcast right now and just forgot how to say words. Thanks for listening. Um, linebacker, Fred Warner killed it. Dre Green lost interception or yeah, interception. So they get an A and then secondary. Charvary score did. Okay. Lenore, Lenore, he got a penalty, but then he made some big plays. If I was guarding them separately, I'd probably give them like a B, but then if you put in Gibson had a horrendous penalty and then Ambry Thomas, the ghost of Ambry Thomas pass making a comeback. Okay. People are saying B. I was going to say, I think C. Cause I think I would give, if it was just Lenore and Ward. Cause I don't think they, even those who did incredible, they just like didn't do bad. And then I think like Ambry Thomas objectively did bad. Like if you were grading just him, you'd give him like an F right. Is an F too harsh. So you give him like a D minus. So I think C people are saying C. Yeah. C C. Ghost of Amory Thomas pass. Okay. So see, is that everyone? Did I do all the, oh, uh, special teams, Jake Moody. What the, I was almost going to say the F word. Sorry about that. Um, I know that he made the second kick. I don't care. I don't like him. Now, Mitch Wasowski, they should have, they should have uh, done a, a fake punt in there and had, had Mitch run again. You got to bring that back in the playoffs and they don't, they definitely never will. And because it didn't work out, I don't think Mitch will ever call his shot again. Um, I would give them, you want to give them credit for, you want to give Moody a credit for being able to make the second one. Cause that's kind of been his problem, right? He misses one and then he gets in his head and then he doesn't make the next one. So you have to give him credit for that. So maybe, and then Mitch did well. So like C minus D, but I feel like doesn't C minus seem too high. I want to say I, I, I've been, I've been more negative. So I'm, I'm leaning on being more critical in a different day. I would have been more positive, but I'm going to say, 
I'm going to say D plus. Should I do D plus? People let me know. Because I, I feel like I'm mostly grading Jake Moody with that. And there is more people on special. But sp- they let up a giant 70, was it 73 yard freaking. Oh my God. It looked like it was going to be a touchdown. My freaking heart, dude. No way. No way. I was so mad. They get a freaking, they get a D. The only reason they don't get an F is because of Mitch Wisnowski. I don't know what I was just thinking. I forgot about that. That made me so mad. All of special teams did bad. They did bad at, at um, am I, am I being harsh? Sorry, I just got mad. <laughs> um, good ge- good game, good teams win ugly. I, I, I know I'm being negative, but if you haven't been around for the whole show, I've been, I've given them a lot of praise and I, I agree that it was a exciting win. I just, I just like to be, people are saying F see, I could be more negative. Um, <laughs> um, no, you're fair. Perfect. Let's run through the, the conclusion of all the grades really quickly. And then everyone make sure to like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, Ashley Ariana, I'm going to, I might, I'm considering doing a call-in show today. Normally the day after games, I go on with Eric Crocker and then Stephanie, but we're going to be doing that on Monday. And since it was a Saturday game, I don't really want to do nothing tomorrow because I want to, I like to kind of be fresh in the emotions. So maybe I'll do a call-in show or something tomorrow. So make sure to like, and subscribe. There's going to be content out all week. Um, So yeah, make sure to do that. D-line didn't show up specifically. Purdy last drive was clutch. I agree. Um, Coaches got a D, right? Coaches got a D. Well, D plus because they won at the end, um, but did terrible for basically the entire game. Aside from that, both Steve Wilkes and Steve Wilkes. What the heck, man? I like him too. He's been doing great. And to be fair, the offense put them in a terrible position for the first half with you know keeping them on the field for so long, con- consistently um, going three and out and stuff, and not running the ball, but. D plus, this is why it takes me so long as I go on so many rants. Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, D plus for coaches. C, did we do C for Brock Purdy? Because he did bad, but didn't, but he projected the football and then was clutch at the very end. So C for him. Um, I'm sorry, I got, I got uh, lost reading the comments. C plus for quarterbacks. I think we did, did we do B for, for wide receivers? B for wide receivers. Maybe it was a B plus. I don't remember. They had drops, so we didn't give them an A. But um, D, either B or B plus for wide receivers, and then tight ends. I think we also did B plus because George Kittle did amazing, but also had one drop. You can't be dropping games in play in the playoffs, man. And I was really hard on. I feel like I I, I also gave Kittle a game ball, and then now I'm giving him a B plus. But I was really hard on Ayuk for his drop, so I need to be hard on Kittle too. Um, the only reason I'm hard on Ayuk is because like I, I believe in him so much and I think he can be that wide receiver. I also think that that catch he made right after his drop was like pivotal for the game. Um, so he definitely did show up. But I, I, I just I want him to show up in those big moments because we've seen Debo take over games, in my opinion, in ways that we haven't seen Ayuk, even though Ayuk is the more consistently good player. Like Debo has big ups and downs. I feel like Ayuk sometimes in the critical moments doesn't show up so i i was harsh on him but he did have a really good game so we did b plus for wide receivers and then d for special teams because they sucked a for running backs i don't know why that's the second time that i forgot to mention the running backs even though chris mccaffrey objectively was the best thing about this 49ers offense and should have had the game way more maybe i'm just borrowing from kyle shanahan and forgetting that freaking he exists for some reason um, but yeah, they get, he gets an A, uh, linebackers get an A defensive line. What did we end up giving them a D plus? Cause they caused pressure. So that was good, but they got zero sacks and didn't stop the run. AJ, like the only reason the Packers run game stopped working is because Matt LaFleur in, you know, he's one of Kyle Sh- Shanahan's underlings. He stole from Kyle Shanahan and lost his mind at the end of the game and freaking went away from the run, even though it was totally working for them. So we're doing uh D plus for the D line. Cause I didn't think that they did well and they're the most highly paid unit on the team so they should have more pressure than anyone else um and then secondary what did we land on i think we did c because ward and lenore did good but then ambry thomas 